Hey guys, welcome back to Performance Toyota. It's me, Hillary, and today's gonna be an amazing day because we're actually gonna start comparing the Highlander as well as the Grand Highlander. So to start off with, when it comes to the Highlander and the Grand Highlander is of course the size of the vehicles. So already from the front of the vehicles, you do see how your Highlander is more of that round and a little bit smaller looking front end, especially even with the front grille, letting it be a little bit smaller, but still a nice elegant look. Whereas if you go to the Grand Highlander on the other hand, has a more boxier look to it, is a lot more wider. It has a big grille in the front. So now to compare the side of the vehicles, starting off with the Grand Highlander, first of all, 18 inch tires starting off of here and just the length of the vehicle is already extremely long compared to your Highlander, which is a little bit shorter. The other thing too that you find here is that even with the length of it, you do find that at the bottom, it has a straight line going right here towards the bottom of your vehicle. So again, to give it more of that length form, and then the fact that the window here in the back is a lot bigger. You get less of a blind spot that way. The other thing just to mention too, is the height of this car. So I know I'm always joking that I'm short, but I'm literally 5'1", okay? So this door, I'm literally here. So already you can tell that this thing is tall. So let's compare it to the actual Highlander. Now coming to the Highlander, the height of this vehicle, I'm literally right here with the door. So already that gives you a great representation of how tall these vehicles are and the comparison of that. Still 18 inch wheels on these vehicles, but the only thing that you will find is that on the Grand Highlander, the tires are just thicker. Whereas this one, you can tell again with the new rims and everything, it's not as big as it looks with the other one. And then coming with the side of the vehicle, Lengthwise, you can see it is quite a bit shorter than the Grand Highlander. And the fact that the Highlander does come with like a curve around it to make it have that more of a round feel, but still elegant look. And then coming to the front of the vehicle, you do see just to solidify the size of them, the front grille, which is shorter, but round to give it that more elegant look. And then you have the Grand Highlander, which is again, longer, taller, and just gives it a more aggressive look. So coming to the engine size of these vehicles, I know it says 2020 on here, but just for a fair comparison, 2023, 2024 is a 2.5 liter four cylinder turbo. Now coming to the Grand Highlander, this nice monster of a vehicle, size engine on the other hand, is literally the exact same thing. So space-wise in this vehicle, this is gonna be me showing you space between the second and the third row. So exact same way as you would go into the regular Highlander, just kind of push this over and right into the back. So the second row seat is able to go even further back and already still have pretty much good leg room. Again, not really up to my chest. I don't feel squished or anything like that. Uh, still pretty comfortable considering. So there's a lever on the seat itself and it can go even more, which I might be able to show you with that one. So that goes all the way back. Some other nice features that you do get in the back of here is your cup holders, of course, type C chargers in case of anything. And you are gonna see kind of like this square hole here that is to actually put your tunnel cover when you're not using this third row. So coming to the second row in this vehicle, already, very spacious, extremely comfortable, have enough legroom space, already knowing that I can be all the way back and my back passengers are still gonna have enough space. Headroom wise, you definitely feel the height of this vehicle. So you have enough headroom space for sure, even for all of my tall friends out there, 100% you do. And of course, when it comes to the Highlanders, the very famous screen, we still have that, which is amazing. Now let's come to our Highlander. Now this is gonna be the fun part considering it was just in a bigger vehicle. So third row, already a little bit more difficult to get in. 
and you definitely feel how tight it is in here. My ankles are literally crossed, so extremely tight in here. So unless you have like toddlers that can 100% get back here and they're gonna be comfortable and secure for sure. So kind of had to move that bad boy over, but just so that you know, you do also get cup holders in here as well. And I believe if you end up going to like your limited packages, you do get like your USB ports in there as well. And just a little bit more when it comes to vents or anything like that. So you are able to still recline in the back seat of this. My only concern is still your feet. You don't have that much leg room, but you can at least lie down a little bit. So coming to the second row of just our regular Highlander, seats always comfortable, do not get me wrong. They're always going to be, especially when it comes to Toyota. Size-wise, on the other hand, already it is smaller. It definitely is. You have leg room here, which is definitely a lot better than I can say in the third row and headroom space, you definitely feel the difference as well. There's still a pretty good headroom space considering, but not as tall and you definitely feel that once you go from the Grand Highlander to the Highlander. So let's talk cargo space. When it comes to the regular Highlander, you do have space, just not a lot of it, especially if you have the third row up. Probably about an arm's length of space in general when it comes to here. Now, cargo space in the Grand Highlander, on the other hand, it's still pretty small for considering how big the vehicle is, but you definitely get a lot more compared to the Highlander. This one is probably about an arm and a half or so of space when it comes to this one, and again, with the third row up. All right guys, so this is the Highlander and our Grand Highlander comparison video. Which one is the best one? Which one is better for you and your lifestyle? I would love to know. Please put it in the comments, like and subscribe and I will see you guys later.